After the introduction of the heat map feature in the Atis platform, users had questions about how to activate it, where to find it, and how to customize it. This video aims to answer frequently asked questions and highlight the benefits of using the heat map for those who haven't tried it yet. The heat map, also referred to as the liquidity map, is a tool that visualizes the trading activity of major market participants within the order book. It works on the principle that the higher the total volume of orders at that level, the brighter the color on the heat map. Bright levels above the current price are large sell limit orders. Below the current price, buy limit orders. You can launch the heat map in the ADAS platform using two indicators. DOM levels. Scalping DOM, which at the time of production of this video is being transformed into DOM Trader. Let's look at both options, starting with DOM levels. We will use the connection to the futures market on the Binance exchange, but the settings and principles of the heat map are similar for other markets. However, based on personal preferences, you will most likely modify the settings many times. To use the heat map, it is essential to have a connection to an exchange that provides real-time level 2 data, which includes real-time information about the total sum of limit orders at each price level. Add DOM levels to the chart. But place DOM levels lower than the market depth indicator so that the heat map does not cover the market depth indicator. The space between the last quote and the right edge of the chart will be filled according to the cumulative volume in the order book at each price level. When a candle closes, the heat map values for each level at the time of closing are transferred to the history. Therefore, in order to analyze the heat map, it is usually necessary to wait a little for the data to accumulate. To prevent the accumulated data from being lost, for example, when changing the time frame, it is recommended to increase the days to save parameter. As more candles close, the history starts to reveal a picture that can be analyzed for correlations between price and order interaction in the order book. Let's note a few nuances. You can browse the heat map by moving your mouse left to right, up, and down. To return to the right edge of the chart, double-click, or click on this button in the top right corner. You may notice that the heat map appears to flicker. It happens because Adis uses the principle of relativity when displaying the heat map. If the largest volume extends beyond the screen, the heat map is recalibrated relative to the new largest volume. How to customize the heat map? Open the indicator settings. In the gradient settings, choose the color transition that you prefer. Most of the available options are designed for a dark background. The cutoff parameter allows you to customize how easily the highest value is reached. For instance, if you move the slider to the left, it means that a significantly large volume must appear in the order book for the corresponding level on the heat map to become intensely hot. By moving it to the right, any reasonably noticeable volume will be displayed very brightly on the heat map. The contrast parameter enables you to adjust the overall visibility of the heat map. If you move the slider to the right, only the most significant levels will remain visible. The levels with lower volumes will, so to speak, go to the invisible zone. The smoothing parameter determines how the platform combines multiple levels on the heat map. You can choose to disable the merging, enable automatic merging, or manually adjust it using the slider. The log scale parameter is sometimes useful in order to make the average volume levels more visible if you need them for analysis. The custom proportion parameter allows you to manually define the volume that will be considered significant. For example, let's set this value to 5000. It will result in fewer bright levels. If we reduce it to 1000, the number of levels will increase. The extend lines parameter allows you to enable or disable the drawing of levels in the space between the last quote and the right edge of the chart. The show last limits parameter. If this checkbox is checked, then zero levels, if they appear, will be filled with the last non-zero values at the same levels. Next are the filters. If the volume in the order book is smaller than the specified value in the minimum volume filter, that volume will not be displayed. 
Volumes larger than the maximum filter value will be displayed in the color you specify, for example bright red. We hope everything is clear with the DOM levels settings. Try to play with them yourself in the Adas platform. And if you still don't have it installed, download it for free right now. Let's move on to the heat map and the scalping DOM indicator. As mentioned earlier, this indicator is being transformed into a tool called DOM Trader, which is a result of the ongoing improvements to the Adas platform. To launch DOM Trader, simply click on the corresponding icon in the bottom toolbar of the chart window. If you don't see the icon, you may need to update your platform. However, we will be using the Scaping DOM indicator which is sufficient for the purposes of this video. Scalping DOM turns Adas into a powerful tool for scalping, offering a user-friendly and functional interface for executing short-term trades. The screen is divided into three zones. On the left, there is a regular chart that can be used for creating footprints, adding indicators, drawing, and other available actions. In the middle, there is a zone that displays the smart tape. On the right, there is the DOM zone, which shows the order book and functionality for trading using your mouse. To activate the heat map in the scalping DOM indicator, select the liquidity map mode in the indicator settings. Click OK. Adas will display the heat map in the middle zone where the smart tape is rendered. The heat map settings in the DOM scalping indicator are almost identical to the heat map settings in the DOM levels indicator. So, let's not repeat ourselves, but do this instead. Let's add the heat map from the DOM levels indicator to the chart on the left side. By launching two heat maps simultaneously, you can understand their differences. The heat map in scalping DOM is more suitable for working with data from the very recent past. On the other hand, the heat map in DOM levels is good for a convenient analysis of a broader range of historical data. Moreover, the scalping DOM heat map has smoother dynamics, which are better suited for visualizing the order flow. The similarities between the heat map from the DOM levels indicator and the heat map from the scalping DOM indicator are that they can be launched in the market replay mode. However, there is an important nuance, you need to run the heat map in the market replay simulator by selecting the type of data containing real level 2 information. And finally, if you've carefully watched the video, but something does not work with the heat map, or it works, but not as you would like, here are some tips. To use the heat map in real time, make sure to check the connection status, it should be displayed in green. Keep in mind that the quality of your connection plays a crucial role. If you are using, for example demo data for futures from the CME exchange, it may contain limited information about the depth of market. To display the full level 2 depth, you may need to purchase a subscription. Check your connection settings. For example, the market depth when connecting to Binance can be limited by the corresponding parameter. Go to the Settings tab. Open General Settings. The Levels Count parameter can limit the depth of the order book. The zero value removes all restrictions. If you can't solve the problems, contact our support. We hope that this video has been helpful in understanding how to launch and customize the heat map in the Adas platform. You must be interested in how to apply the heat map in trading, what signals it provides, and the patterns that exist in the interaction between the heat map and the price, which can be used for profitable trading. This topic deserves a separate video. Please like, comment, and share this video, and we'll consider creating a review of trading signals with the heat map in the Adas platform in one of our upcoming videos. The more likes we get, the sooner we'll release it. Wishing you successful trades, and thank you for watching.